can the record show that I did do my best? Feliz Navidad, everyone! As many of you know, I love Christmas and that's why it was extra special to be asked to be part of the 2021 Puzzle Advent Calendar. Just like last year, it's a massive collaboration to bring you 24 unique and original puzzles showcased across many YouTube channels. If you've come from Artisan Puzzle, then welcome. Welcome to day 14. Uh, and just as a heads up for day 15, you're gonna wanna head over to Cubes Made Easy. I will link to his channel in the description below. But otherwise, let's get into it. Christmas has come early, guys. Here it is, complete with a card. Merry Christmas, Ting Man. Do not eat this gingerbread house. Puzzle, speak cute review. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. That's sort of given away what it is. Unless he's being extra tricky. Hmm. Time to do the only appropriate thing with wrapping paper. Rip it to shreds. What is that? Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is not what I was expecting. That is the most beautiful thing on earth. Oh my gosh, I love this. So this must be a puzzle that was made by Sean. PQ review. Oh, how beautiful is it? Okay, I'm really appreciating the fact that he's made every side different. As in, we've got fairy lights going down here, but in this side they're going across. We've got a Christmas tree window and a wreath. Window over here with another Christmas tree inside. Door fairy lights going across, and then more fairy lights going across there. Oh, that's so, so great. And I appreciate the box too. All right, let's see how it turns. Oh, wow, that's actually really nice. So it's an I can tell this is a four by four mod. We've got like four layers here. So it would have been square like that. And I guess Sean just like shaved that corner off and then added corners at the top and over here. And you instantly just have this house going on here. It is so gorgeous. Can we seriously just stop to appreciate how unique and beautiful this is? Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do and it's to scramble this thing. <laughs> There it is. So step one for solving a four by four, actually just, just really quickly scramble this, is to solve all of the centers. So something like this. And there you have it. We've got these little two by two squares in all six side, all of the centers are correctly solved. So let's do it with this guy. Okay, I think getting that golden um, center is gonna be the easiest one. So let's do that. Let's shh and on. So voila, Sean, we've got speed cube review right there and we're done with center number one very very nice okay next center to do is actually the opposite center so that's going to be right at the very top the rooftop all right and then let's pair oh how do i know that these are the ones that go up there and not the ones that are like those centers on those sides. Ew, no. Okay, I just noticed that some of these roof thingies have like silver bits underneath them and some don't. And it would make the most sense if the ones that were hanging off the sides were the ones with the silver underneath because you could see them and the ones on top you couldn't, which means that's an incorrect pairing. Like, so this guy goes with this guy. Okay, let's fix that. All right, that's those two together and quick time lapse to get the last two done. Alright, that's a top center die on bottom center. So uh, let's make the Christmas tree window actually. Okay, that's two centers done. We've got this guy over here and this guy over here. So we just have two more centers to go. I think that's right. Yeah, so you've got the wreath there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. Okay, guys. That's step one done. So this looks like this, uh, believe it or not. And next step is now to pair all of the edges. So we want to turn the four by four from this into something like this. So as you can see, all those edges are now paired up in the correct pair. And this thing is looking a little bit more like a three by three, which we can solve. Okay, by pure chance, I've got this one already paired up, which I can prove. And I mean, it's very conveniently goes right there. So it's really nice but I think it'll probably be easiest for me to first pair up all these like golden edges. So this golden purpley one has to pair with this guy. So let's see, we can do it like this. We pair it up, replace it with some other random edge. And then you undo that little middle turn that you made. And there you go. Yay. All right, let's keep going. And 
and there it is! Hooray! I even paired them all up with where they should go as well. So this thing is really starting to take shape. So, so pretty. Let's keep going, guys. <laughs> have I done it? I think I might have. I mean, that's, yeah, that's right. <gasps> guys, I think I've done it. I've done it, I've done it. Yes, this guy is now this guy, which means I can start solving this like a three by three. So for example, I would do this. All right, get my cross, which I already have over there, which is really, really nice. And I'm probably gonna go beginner's method. So that will involve, you know, getting that uh, first layer done like uh, this. There you go. And then getting all of these um, edges put in like this. There you go. And then finally figuring out the top layer. Okay, so cross is done. So let's start putting all the other beautiful golden edges in. So this golden edge is gonna go over there, I can tell. So just like that. Hooray! This guy goes in here. Okay, so that's gonna go like this. And there she is. And finally this guy is gonna go in over here. And down you go. Beautiful. Sean, you are back. You are back, buddy. Let's get these side edges in now. So you mash it up with the side first. And then you do this. And there's a nice beautiful F12 here. You just insert like this. Hooray! We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Oh! <gasps> oh, I made a mistake! I made a mistake! Of course, of course! That guy goes there! Okay, let's go and fix my mistake. <sighs> I thought I came so close. Okay, I think this is right. <laughs> let's keep going and find out. Can the record show that I did do my best? That's good, that, that'll do, right? I mean, that's a gingerbread house. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. This will be an easy fix. Sean, why you do this to me, Sean? Why must you give me a four by four gingerbread house? A three by three would have been just fine. <laughs> Ladies and gents, this is now looking like this guy. Oh, our first two layers, our first three layers are completely done. And we are now left with the top layer, which I cannot tell if that is a parody. Okay, let's do it to a look. Let's go F. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, inverse. F prime. What have we got? What? Is that right? Okay, so that's right. This is, yeah, that's right. Okay, well, let's just do an A perm to this. That looks exactly the same as before. Oh, wait, I haven't done my second step of OLL yet. Oh, what a noob I am. So I basically oriented my cross and thought I was done, but I need to get my corners all, you know, the yellow bit all facing up as well. So let's do that here. This looks like it could actually be a soon. So let's do that. Oops. And that did not work. Okay, I just quickly fixed a couple of extra edge pieces that I got wrong before, and I'm back in this state, so let's try that soon from before. Oh, guys! <gasps> hey, okay, we have got ourselves PLL parody. So that's when you got a case like this where it's completely soft, but these two edges are swapped, which is impossible by the way with a three by three, but as you can see, possible with a four by four. Although this one's a little bit different. See, this is like opposite parody, but this one's adjacent because it's side by side. So you first set it up with a sexy move and then you do PLL parody. And I really, really don't want to stuff it up. Here goes nothing. Wide U2, wide R2. <laughs> this looks really, really crazy, but I think I actually did it. 
So that roof is now completely right. Like this top layer is completely solved. And I did not realize this, but PLO Parody apparently rotates the centers on the side. Oh wait, it isn't just a rotation because it's, oh my goodness. <gasps> I think I'm gonna have to solve this the way that I would solve a 4x4 blindfolded. I've actually forgotten how to do it, but I'm just gonna to refer to an ALG sheet. And all right, so for those of you who wanna know, I'm gonna treat this like my top side, A, B, C, D, U, V, W, X. So I'm gonna bring V up to my buffer, D2, swap it with X, D2, and then swap it again. And that should work. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. So it's R2, D, Okay, now let's do a D2 and repeat that. Now, if I do it one last time, it should work. So D2, here we go. Ah, uh, two, U2. Did that work? Did that work? Did that work? Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Oh, man. I don't think I've ever solved a 4x4 like this before. I mean, I didn't get all our parody, but otherwise I felt like I was pretty unlucky in myself here. And I did it, Sean, I did it. Are you proud of me, Sean? Are you proud of me? I don't think I'm ever gonna scramble this again, but that's okay, because it's meant to look like this anyway. It is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I deserve a prize for this. Let's open this and see what I get. Yeah. I got a carabiner. I mean, that's sort of cool. Nice, beautiful crown. Very good. And a joke. Woohoo! What do you call a three legged donkey? A wonk. Okay, yeah. Well, thanks again, Sean, for the puzzle. Link to his channel right here. Please check him out. And of course, day 15 of the puzzle advent calendar can be found in the video description below. Let's keep it going all the way till Christmas. Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And a very Merry Christmas to you all. Bye.